फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मिस्टर स्पीकर सर आई हैव बीन लिसनिंग पेशेंटली टू द स्पीच ऑफ श्री वाजपेयी बट ही हैज वेरी केयरफुली अवॉइडिड द मेन इशू विच इज बिफोर द कंट्री नेमली वेदर द कोर्ट ऑर्डर्स विल बी एनफोर्स्ड ऑन द सिक्स ऑफ दिसंबर एट अयोध्या और नोट आई टेक इट कॉन्सियसली he has not answered that issue today we are not really discussing as to whether it is desirable to have a temple or not or what was there previously we are not sitting here to cite evidence or come to a decision the question is today we are facing a particular situation which is causing the greatest anxiety amongst the people of this country namely a section of the people a political party some organizations which are openly religious organizations fundamentalist organizations are trying to do something which we believe will be a serious blow to the unity and integrity of this country to the maintenance of communal harmony i believe to which every citizen in this country should be committed but that answer has not been given we have been told so many times what is secularism what nehru said at some time even if nehru's quotation helped him is bhartiya janata party trying to do car seva in the 2.77 acres of land to implement nehru's view this is the amazing argument which i have heard from shri vajpay why are we concerned when negotiation was going on at the instance of the government of india yes i would have been happier if the discussions had stated in july august because there also i have something to say about the government why do you allow any time to lapse is a matter like this but when in fact the discussions were going on in october november date was fixed discussions were held and why suddenly prior to that unilaterally a decision is made a declaration is made that come what may whatever may be the result of the discussion we shall go on constructing the building what is the significance of 6th december i do not know we have not heard from any bhartiya janata party or vhp sources what is the special basis of this day and how this date was fixed however they decided probably they have their own almanac their own faith in that i do not mind but they owe an explanation to the country why to disrupt the process of negotiations and discussion if your case is so strong i only submitted that the supreme court has already appointed an observer whose mention has also been made in the statement given by the honorable minister though the observer is daily dispatching his reports yet no mention about it has been made in the statement only the appointment of an observer has been mentioned in the statement the observer appointed by the supreme court is keeping a watch on the developments in ayodhya are you not going to trust him mr speaker sir 
by the number and nature of cases filed in the supreme court by the government of india councils and the argument put forth by them is quite reasonably justifies the contention that the government is not at all sincere about avoiding the precipitation of the crisis is it proper to entrust this responsibility to the supreme court time and again ask it to intervene in the country the politicians should be prepared for taking political decisions in all such matters and should also always be prepared to tackle the crisis of this type there is no need to take recourse to the courts however such a course is being adopted and when it is condemned it is alleged that the sanctity of the courts is being challenged even by the figment of imagination we are not prepared to be little the courts prestige of judiciary should be fully maintained in the country we all who allegiance to the constitution of the country therefore it would be nice if the band of secularism is not played too much then it is very good when indian constitution was being framed professor saha moved a resolution that secular word should be included in it but it was not included because the fundamental rights guaranteed each citizen equal rights irrespective of his caste creed and religion there was another reason also the constitution makers knew that secular is an alien word and it echoes anti religious voice and it seems indifferent to the relation it is a western hypothesis you read the speeches of dr munshi and other leaders they always propounded this concept that state would be or should be a secular means equality of all religions no opposition to any religion but during the course of time there were some happening which indicated that feelings of majority community are not being respected it is a politics of votes stop